All right, tip number five. So you're thinking about what website are you going to actually go to? I mean, yeah, we got this website here, which is just about cardiovascular disease, but my topic's about air pollution. This is not really talking about air pollution. And I have this uh, dictionary article here, but I'm not going to use like a dictionary article to talk about air pollution. I mean, this isn't very long and it doesn't really target what I'm focused on. So here's the tip. Use Google Images. Let's say my topic is air pollution. Using Google Images, yeah, you could just go by what looks interesting, but also take a look at the authors. National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences, Air Pollution in Your Health. That looks like a really trustworthy article. Here's another one, National Park Service. Where does air pollution come from? Oh, National Geographic. You know what? I really like the look of this one. And if I click on it, and I click on the title down here, it'll actually bring me to a very detailed article. Look at this. It's got lots of information about air pollution and how it, you know, relates to people's health. And wow, at the very bottom, it's got a list of sources. I feel like I can really trust this. So I'm satisfied. I'm going to actually spend some time and read, read this. So before I read it, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put in this right here and press space just to make it into a link. And so let's go back to the article. Um, what's the title of the article? The title of the article is up here. I'm going to triple click one, two, three. I'm going to copy that, pop it in, control shift V, delete these extra spaces. And who's the author? Well, I don't see an author up here that normally would be like, uh oh, maybe we can't trust this, but it's got all these great sources. And I feel like this is just, um, um, written by the people who work for this organization, National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences. If you look at the domain, you'll see it's actually a .gov, which means this is part of a country's government, NIH. Oh, and I see an American flag. This is part of the American government's website uh, on uh, National Institute for, of Environmental Health Sciences. So here's part of tip five, uh, which is um, how do you copy this? This is, a, this is a, an image. Like I can't, I can't copy that. Well, that's a little frustrating. So um, what I'm going to suggest you guys do is on every website that's, you know, a trustworthy website, there'll be a section that says about, for example, even our school has an about section. Look, if I click on this, oh, look, it talks about the organization. Oops, where did it go? Um, right here, the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences. I'm just going to copy that right there because I couldn't copy the image of the logo. And I'll paste this in right here without formatting. Beautiful. Well, I'm going to really have a lot to uh, go through on this website now. So now I'm all set and I can get started. Google Images, guys. It's a really good place to start.